celebrate the unveiling of our second Art Scoop Scramble project, um, which is dedicated to our local farmers. Margot put together with her group at the Art Village hundreds of kits for people to take home to be able to make the tiles, and then her team put them together to make our fabulous mural today. The main thing about this mural is that it's a show of gratitude to the farmers. The farmers who have been tilling the soil and tending the land and feeding us since the time of the first people here, the Algonquin tribe. I got to find out by doing this how many artists there are in our community. It's just the coolest thing. I am grateful to join you all today in celebrating our community. This mural and the rich agricultural tradition it honors. My likeness is a tribute to a man who farmed just a short walk from where we now stand. His name was Thomas Dugan. He was recalled as an expert grafter of apple trees and credited with introducing Concord farmers to the rye cradle. Thomas Dugan's achievements as a farmer are all the more impressive because he raised his family and farmed successfully on marginal land. Boxing crops from sandy soil that was far less fertile than the land that was accessible only to white farmers at that time. You know, the agriculture has been such an important part of the uh, economy and the livelihood of town that it was uh, remembered in the uh, Minuteman statue, and uh, if you think about that statue, uh, it has the Minuteman with his weapon ready to go defend himself, and the idea is that the uh, population was mostly farmers, and they were prepared to get ready to go to battle in a minute's time. My family's from the mountains of uh, Ciudad Puerto Rico, and uh, Margo and Carleen will tell you that I spent the majority of this pandemic in Puerto Rico caring for my father in Sidra. So this really hits me in some spaces, especially as the brothers I'm talking. So I touched here from two farmers who've spoken thus far, and um, as well as to the others who are represented here. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has.